Hey there, welcome to Metal Wood Channel. It's Steve here. This is Chainsaw Diaries. It's August 10th. What the hell's Chainsaw Diaries? Chainsaw Diaries is my crazy stories from from the past and from the present. So we're going to talk about some present. We're going to end up talking about my friend, my best friend out of Indiana. This guy named Doug. Best friend with great sarcasm, of course. Why can't we all just get along? Why can't we just not not fuck with other people. Why can't we just do that? So this guy out of Richmond, Indiana, who I could have been just fine, never ever having been ever contacted by. And perhaps if I knew a little bit more about YouTube at the time, I could have just done what I needed to do with my YouTube buttons, but I just didn't know at the time how easy that was. And that would have been the best thing. But now, now we're stuck like Chuck, and he doesn't seem to care on the surface, but I know he does. So we'll talk a lot more about that, but we got good stuff to talk about first. Um, the good stuff. So I, I mentioned my local friend. I got a local friend that contacted me who's not going to steal my chainsaws, and people have asked me for a selfie stick. So I'll try to hold my I'll try to hold my camera more towards the front of my face so people don't have to look up my nose. You don't know how many chainsaw diaries got totally deleted after after a lot of good content simply because perhaps the nose wasn't fully clean. Because nobody's nose is always clean. So uh, I've tried to spare you a lot. Of course there's been that wild gray nose hair now and then. And I won't even tell you what happens when I look in the mirror. I'll tell you, I won't even tell you that because people say on other channels, all he does is talk about his eyesight. Okay, I won't talk about my eyesight. So, but I don't, I'm not here to please anybody. This is for the people who care to watch or the people that want to watch unfold the drama that this guy Doug has turned my channel into. It's not going to be just drama. I got chainsaws on the way. I got chainsaws on the way. I got chainsaws to use. I got nokers to show you. Nokers is a damn good saw. I got excited about Nokers because they're awesome. A guy did a fraud. I'm going to talk more about that for you. But the good news. So I got a guy local to me who's, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm trusting him, you know. I don't think he's going to be stealing any chainsaws. But, you know, my wife says, make sure, make sure you don't be leaving any chainsaws with anybody. But, you know, it's not like... It's not like that's going to happen. The guy's, the guy's got his own chainsaws to, to play with and build and cherish and love. You know, some people love these chainsaws. I'm into them because I kind of fell into it. We had hurricanes, and I was upset that nobody had chainsaws. That's how I got into these chainsaws. I don't know much about building them. I don't know anything about porting them. I don't understand what's an open port versus a closed port versus this or that versus a transfer. I don't know any of that. I can look and see what, what a clean cylinder is versus a non-clean cylinder. And even with my situation, I can see that golden hue on a Nicocell. But my, my chainsaws are chromed, and that leads me to the topic that I'm going to discuss. My connections in China don't really seem to understand anything about Nicosil plating. They want me to find some Chinese names for some of these cylinder companies. And I'm like, you got to call them for me. I can't get anybody in the United States to give me the secrets on where they're getting their Nicosil cylinders. So there's cross cylinders and there's proline cylinders. And they're 100% foreign made cylinders. Whether they're Taiwanese or whether they're Chinese I can't tell you. Now, Meteor, Meteor is Italian, and there are there are cylinder foundries in Brazil still, and there are some in Mexico, and there are some in Texas, not too far from Texas welder Kevin's place, you know. But as far as nickel plated cylinders out of China, that's stumping me a little bit right now. Because, like I said, all my chainsaws have been chrome. Now, some people have said, blah, 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 still's been making Nicosil cylinders since the 
1400s when Leonardo da Vinci was designing the helicopter and shit like that. But uh, uh, the truth of the matter is, very good chainsaws are being made in China without nickel cell cylinders, chrome cylinders. But like my man in South Dakota called me one day about my world famous 372s that he wanted to buy. And by that time, I already knew that they were chrome instead of nickel cell. And it didn't take me, how's it going, sir? didn't take me too long to uh, find out about that. But uh, he said that he, he's the first person that told me that chrome doesn't port very well. Probably because of the chipping or the whatever. He's the first person that told me that. I've heard that from several people. I don't know anything about porting. I probably never will. Well, sure I will, but no time soon, perhaps. Because uh, it seems like all these chainsaw porters around the country... Uh, they seem to be threatened and jealous or something. Uh, they just don't believe that Noker's a damn good saw. And you know what? I got misquoted for saying, better than OE. That's so funny that you could misquote somebody and then all your simple-minded followers will perpetuate that misquote in order for you to be able to copy that for federal, federal, <laughs> federal evidence. God, that's funny. So I have copied everything. So some people are doing damage control. And they're deleting stuff, which is fine. That's good. You want to delete your stuff that talks about me, me being a con man selling nokers and at double the cost and ripping people off? You know damn well and good. I didn't sell Noker 381s, and I only got one prototype with the blue tape. People are making fun of the blue tape, too. God, you guys are simple-minded. It's, it's a shame that one man can amass so many freaking internet troll keyboard cowboys and nobody will call me on the phone and talk to me. And then when I call people on the phone myself, it's like they stutter and stammer and like, oh, that's between you and Doug. I'm like, no, you got your ass in the middle of this too, my man. You're all over this shit. And uh, so CDs is no joke. That's co-defendants in the federal case. That's no joke. It cost me somewhere between 100 and 200 bucks to get you served. Get you served at your house when you're going to work. Get you that knock on the door. Get you served. Boom, you're served. Okay. Do you know how much it's going to cost you to get this behind you? You can you can counter sue me all you want, but but it's all about truth. If you're on the internet talking crap about some business aspect that I'm trying to do, that's beyond opinion. You can say that guy Steve is an asshole. That guy Steve, I don't like his gray hair. That guy, Steve, with his no hair sticking out on camera, that's cool. I can't do anything about that. But when you go and call me a con man with these Noker 381s based on this lie out of Indiana that you know is not true, that I've told you is not true, when you perpetuate that, that's a perspective business opportunity for me that you're damaging. You're damaging with something that's untrue. That's where you're you're stuck. So opinions are all well and good. You don't have to like me. You don't have to like a Noker. You don't have to like a 381. You don't have to believe they're good. You don't have to believe me. You can even say, I don't believe him. I don't believe his claims. And there's nothing. But when you go say that con man's been selling those things and trying to sell those things at double the cost and he's peddling that junk and that crap, based on that fraud, that's where you're stuck. Okay, moving right along. So I'm, I'm actually relatively happy right now because my good man, local to me, that's gonna help me build a couple chainsaws that wants maybe a Hanakawa, and I got a couple left. He he uh, he turned me on to a guy to call because I'm trying to look for these Nicosil plated cylinders out of China. I'm not looking to buy them here. I've already ordered some out of HL Supply. So I called a few of these places that have these Nicosil cylinders. And I knew I would strike out. But, but my man local said, you need to call this guy over here. And damned if I didn't call that guy over there. And that guy over there is really freaking cool. And I talked to him for a long time and I told him. I told him about my Nokers. And I told him about my stolen chainsaws that went to Indiana for a swapped out cylinder fraud review that I got the evidence on. And he says, man, he says, I want to see your 365s. I want to see your 372s. 
I want to see your Noker 660s. And he says, I bet you those Noker 660s are good. Well, I'm not going to quote him exactly, but he's excited. He wants to see them. I told him, you can be the exclusive retailer in the United States next to whatever efforts I do on my own. But you could be the exclusive retailer, my man. And I also told him this. And this goes to him. This doesn't go to the FODs. By the way, FOD doesn't stand for Friends of Doug. That was during Theory 1 and Theory 2 that Doug sat back and laughed about. The theory that Noker violated my exclusive right. And then the second theory was that it came off of Alibaba and it was a substandard quality level. No. The conspiracy theory is 100% legit and I got the proof. That's why... This will never end until it's over. It's not over till it's over, my man. This is going to hit the courts. Everybody's going to know this story. I talked to a guy today. He said, oh, you're, you're the Noker guy. I didn't mention my name. I didn't mention where I was. I didn't mention YouTube. I just simply said, I'm bringing in some damn good sauce. And he said, oh, you're the Noker guy. I said, that's right. And I said, I got the goods on the guy that stole them sauce. He said, it's cool, whatever. So, everybody's going to know about Noker Chainsaws. And everybody's going to know about stolen chainsaws. And I forgot to make my point the other day. So, this guy, Indiana Doug, has been in the same presence of this really cool guy named Buck and Billy Ray up in B.C. with this cool channel. He's a good guy. You know, and Joe, Dino Joe is a good guy. I talked to Dino Joe, and I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep repeating it. Dino Joe said, Steve, the test of time is how you prove your sauce. I'm like, that's what I'm doing. I got people using them. Test of time. That's all I can do. Dino Joe's like, yeah, I can't help you, man. I can open up your saws and look at them and, you know, what's that going to do? What's that going to do if I look at them? What's it going to do if I run them on a dyno? It's going to be the same thing as every other clone saw. It's not going to do anything for you. I said, I know, but I had to call you because everybody wants free chainsaws. And until I, until I get some, you know, some rebuttal information, you know, I got to, I got to go down these avenues. Excuse me for the pig snort. That's the medication. So, so back to the topic at hand. So my man, my man's going to get a couple saws from me. And I told my man, if you don't like your saws, I'll reimburse you your money. I said, but when you get that 365 in your hand and you start up that 365, it's going to be a Rolex watch at chainsaw speeds or like a Singer sewing machine. It's going to hum. Just hum in your hands and not even vibrate like a chainsaw. It doesn't even feel like a chainsaw. Now the 372s feel like a 372, but the 365s feel like something totally off, off this world. And the first time I noticed that, let me tell you how I noticed that. So I was getting these 372s. I was getting a bunch of 372s from everywhere. And that brings me back. Remind me to tell you about that Canadian guy that looked on the Noker site, because I'm not done talking about him. So you just got to remind me. Put it right here. So... I get 365s and 372s from everywhere. And then I test them, I run them, I'm like, no, no big deal, ain't, ain't so special, this or that, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Some I throw away, whatever, some I break apart, put in the recycle bin, put in their metal recycle bin, some I give away, some I sell, some I give to a guy from Mississippi for parts, and then he blasts me and says I give him some shit. Because that's not my, that's not my 372 original. That was one of the ones that would run, but it's not my 372. So I'm getting my 372s from a good factory. And this is going on a couple years. Then I start getting these Mississippi loggers that are getting these saws from me. I got local arborists. And then I start realizing, damn, these things are running every day. And then my guy Anthony comes down. Nine months. I said, Anthony, you're down here to get another 372? What happened to your first 372? Well, I dropped a tree on it. I said, were you using it every day? And in my video, I kind of interrupted him a little bit. I got the days wrong. You know, he was using that saw every day for five, five days a week, nine months already. And he dropped the tree on it and came back for another one. I called him the other day. You know, it's been a good eight months on the second saw that's not crushed. How's your saw running, man? It's running perfect. So uh, I do have one out there that the oil doesn't seem to be running perfect on. And I'm working with that guy. He's either going to get him another saw, or he's going to get me to switch it out, or he's going to switch it out. I don't leave anybody hanging. I leave nobody hanging. And that's when I talked to this guy uh, that, that my local man turned me on to. 
And I told him, you don't like them, I'm going to give you your money back. I just straight up give you your money back. But you're going to like them because they're freaking awesome. My Noker 660s, those suckers are awesome too. And the, the videos you're seeing with these bad Noker cylinders, let me tell you something. A lot of these brand names that are copied, I mean, a lot of these brand names like Hilux carburetors, it doesn't mean you're always getting a Hilux carburetor just because somebody slaps a name on it. Just because somebody slaps a Noker name on a cylinder does not mean it was sold by Noker, developed by Noker, none of that shit. If you don't get that stuff from Noker or from the distributor in the United States for Noker, you got nothing. Now, my saws were on his video and I got the proof he switched out the cylinders. That's what all these simple-minded FODs, frauds of Doug. It was followers of Doug because theory one and two was more innocent on Doug. It's a little more innocent, but Doug is not an innocent man. So people were warning me, you don't know who you're messing with. Buddy, I don't give a shit who I'm messing with. The guy is a fraud. He's got my name mixed up in it. He attacked me and Nobody attacks me without me sticking up for myself, fighting back, defending myself, or whatever. So, uh, the, th the thing is, the situation with the attorneys, it's going to be tough as hell. Because you got a losing case in federal court on fraud, you got a losing case in criminal court on fraud. Let me tell you all a secret. I was familiar with the robbery that occurred as far as I was... On the, I was on or close to the victim side of the robbery. You know they ran DNA in that robbery? And they got DNA. They got DNA in that robbery. You know those chainsaws that I'm talking about? You know they got cylinders. I'm sorry, not cylinders. Serial numbers. You know they got serial numbers, right? You know they were on video, right? You know they were on video in Mississippi and video in Indiana? Excuse me for the pig snort. You know they got DNA all over them damn s chainsaws? That's why I didn't touch the chainsaw on the uh, on the choke to show the choke's working. That's why I haven't done anything with those chainsaws except for getting them ready. Getting them ready for evidence. There's DNA all in that chainsaw. Especially that rubber part. You know how much DNA is on that rubber part next to the carburetor? It's got my DNA. I don't know if it's got Mississippi DNA, but it's definitely got Indiana DNA. And I guess you're going to have to fight hard for for that when that subpoena comes for DNA. You're going to have to fight that one really hard. And then your attorney's going to wonder, what the hell's going on here? And then your attorney's going to charge you with a boatload of money for defending a case that can't be defended. So plea bargain is definitely up your alley. Pointing fingers at each other between the two states is definitely something that could happen. You can't call me anymore because that window's closed. I asked you for two weeks to call me, or whatever the time frame was. Probably not two weeks. Couple, couple, couple. Uh, yeah, I did. I asked you to call me before you hit me with that Noka crap. I think. But anyway, don't call me anymore, Suddeth and Associates. You might be able to call them if you want. Have your attorney call them, or let them know you're going to find an attorney try to get this worked out because I'm not joking man I am not freaking joking people leave messages like like I'm freaking joking nah. so what else so FOD fraud of Doug all the simple-minded people acting like I'm the nutty crazy one and uh, people saying here here's a grown man with the internet dispute it's not about an internet dispute it's about some guys committing fraud and I'm not going to let him get away with it. So, the guy that I called, he wants he wants to get his hands on some of my world famous chainsaws. It's the only U.S. retailer of my chainsaws besides me. That's pretty cool. So I'm happy about that. I'm not going to keep you too much longer. I haven't kept you 40 minutes so far. I've only kept you 19 minutes, I think. And. Uh, Sorry about the nose holes, guys. Uh, let me know what you want to hear. I could tell stories. I could tell more stories of uh, self-defense scenarios. I could tell more stories of the bicycle trip across the United States of America for 43 days. I could tell more stories of 
my court experience, my attorneys. Uh, I was asked today about those mufflers, and I said, uh, "I said, yeah, we can make we can make custom mufflers. They're, none of them are patent pending. Everybody says they're patent pending, but they're dreaming. You can't get a patent on welding a couple pieces of metal together that air flows through. Has to be a lot more complicated than that. I hold a patent, provisional patent already." And I basically have sold my provisional patent for a future date for good money. Patent attorney in town. What else? Yeah, let me know what you want to hear, folks. I know I got some subscribers that like watching the Chainsaw Diaries. And a lot of times YouTube just turns it on. Oh, we're about to hit 8,000. Yes, we're about to hit 8,000. We're four away from 8,000 this morning. So I know we're going to hit 8,000 today. So if you're watching this for the first time and you got it this far hit that subscribe i won't disappoint i've got that criminal case against these guys and it's going to be civil as well like subscribe share thumbs up hit me thumbs up and share this thing to some family members if you don't mind thanks for tuning in bye bye